Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I thought I'd give you all 10 ways to obtain a free star treat in Bee Swarm Simulator and uh, this video is going to be pretty short I guess compared to some of my other videos. This one should be uh, pretty helpful for all you mid game or noob players out there in Bee Swarm Simulator. Anyways, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, let's start with the video. By the way, if you guys like the new microphone, I got the Shure SM7B so I'm missing a complete component to it, so if the microphone doesn't sound the best it could at the moment, um, please excuse that. That is because I'm missing a part at the moment. I forgot to buy a, uh, microphone activator or a cloud lifter because I'm an idiot. But anyways, forget that. I pretty much just upgraded my whole setup. So anyways, essentially, you can get your first free star treat from on it, which everybody knows this on Star Journey 5. You can get yourself a free star treat, um, for completing all five of these Star Journey quests. Honestly, they're pretty easy if they, if you are, like, willing to grind it out. Honestly, they do take a little bit though um they're kind of tedious to do as well they're very annoying but overall in the end you do get a free star tree so they are very helpful and you should honestly finish the entire star journey quest line because who wouldn't it's a free star tree the next way you can obtain a free star treat is by coming down here to mother bear underneath the little treat tent down here mother bear will give you a star treat on her 14th and final quest the family finale or no sorry family final i just read that wrong so pretty much the quest will give you one star treat 10 million honey 25 500 tweet tweets treats 10 tickets five royal jellies and this quest is fairly easy it's raise a bee to level 10 raise five bees to level 9 15 bees to level 8 feed your bees 10,000 treats feed your bees 250 sunflower seeds 250 pineapples 250 strawberries and 250 blueberries so you got to feed all those to your bees which isn't that difficult and you get yourself a free star treat which is pretty helpful honestly i'd say this is the easiest quest this is the easiest one out of all the ways to get a uh, free star treat this is by far the easiest one so i suggest you'd go with the mother bear one first now another way that you can obtain a free star treat is by completing the panda bear quest line on the fifth and final ant annihilation quest which you don't actually get to the ant annihilation quests until like a little later into his quest line it takes quite some time wait my bad there are 15 ant annihilation quests wow well ant categorized quest but there are only five that are named ant annihilation so this quest is defeat 1000 ants 500 army ants, 100 giant ants, 3 king beetles, 1 tunnel bear, and a score of 100 in the ant challenge. So it's fairly easy, but it's going to take you a little bit of time because of the king beetles and the tunnel bear, and also the ant challenge a little bit because the ant passes. You do take uh, a, a few hours to get uh, a few ant passes, or unless you, uh, you spend tickets, but I don't see why you'd spend tickets because in the amount of time that it would take you to defeat 3 king beetles and a tunnel bear, it should you should have been able to complete the other parts of this quest. So honestly, this this quest is very easy, but it is very far into the panda bear quest line. It gives you 50 million honey, 25 tickets, and one star treat. So honestly, I'd say I'd probably just passively do this quest while I do the other star treat quests. But yeah, that's another way to get a free star treat. Now, this one no one has ever done just yet, but it is complete 750 brown bear quests. Yeah, I know. It's incredibly, incredibly, like, a bit too presumptuous if you're thinking you're about to get the star treat so upon completing the 750th brown bear quest you will get a free star treat and every 500 quests after that 750th quest you will receive a star treat so that's incredibly annoying that is going to take forever because no one has even done it yet the most anyone's ever done from brown bear is 464 brown bear quests which props to them that is a lot of brown bear quests that is a lot of effort honestly Actually, the commitment that you have to make to be able to complete that many brown bear quests is just absurd and i don't see how you could even do that you could macro them does that work probably not you know actually that wouldn't work because they're randomized there is a polar bear macro so completing the night memory match or the extreme memory match there is a chance of a of a what is this a star treat my bad sorry about that i literally just lost my train of thought for a second but you can actually get a star treat it's an extremely low chance but from doing the extreme memory match or the night memory match you can actually have a chance at getting a free star treat so let's go ahead and do an extreme memory match right here i'm going to fail this miserably because i never do memory matches and i'm really bad at remembering things um so let's see here it's uh, i am brain dead i got 25 royal jellies and a magic bean fair enough also playing the night memory match which is up here in the uh the 30 b zone when it's nighttime you can actually get to the night memory match by using this moon parkour right here to get up 
to the night memory match up there, which you have to wait till it's nighttime, which is kind of annoying, but you can get there, and you do have a very low chance of getting a star treat anyways, but I suggest you just do it because you can get some stingers occasionally from it too. It is an incredibly rare drop from the Mondo Chicken from up here. This is where the Mondo Chicken spawns every hour, and uh, you can have a very low chance at getting yourself a star treat by defeating it. Uh, two of my friends have got, no, actually three of my friends have actually gotten a star treat and a mythic egg from the uh, Mondo Chicken. So honestly, I'd say do the Mondo Chicken every hour. You could get a mythic egg or you could get a star treat. I've gotten a mythic egg from it before. It's pretty handy. Another way to get a star treat is by coming down here over to the Commando Chicken or not. Yeah, Commando Chicken layer here. On your 100th Commando Chicken defeat, you have a guaranteed chance of the Commando Chicken dropping you a star treat. So that's pretty handy. So when you defeat the Commando Chicken for the 100th time, you can receive your yourself a star treat guaranteed. Now, another way you can obtain a star treat is by defeating the coconut crab. It is a very low drop chance. It is about the same as it is from getting one um, from the Mondo chicken. And you can also obtain a star treat from fireflies at night. And I didn't actually know that until like five minutes ago. So pretty much um, you can actually get a star treat from fireflies when you pick up the fireflies, like you walk over the fireflies, right? They have a possibility of like the sparkles underneath them can drop a star treat or no is it i don't know entirely how it works i think you get it from like when it normally would give you a moon charm it will give you a star treat instead or something like that but i do know it is an extremely rare drop from fireflies and i didn't know that and i doubt a lot of you guys did too also there is an incredibly incredibly low chance well not incredibly low chance but it's a decently low chance you can get a star treat from mythic meteors and mythic meteors are what i just summoned now you need three of the mythic bee types not three mythic bees but three gifted not three gifted my bad three mythic bee types so you just run around you can collect meteors like this look there's a meteor right there and then this is a meteor right here i get some items this one and then i can collect that this one too oh boy i'm missing some of these but that's fine you know you get the point this was just used as an example that i mumbled so much saying that sentence that is embarrassing but anyways i hope you all did enjoy this video do not forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next roblox b swarm simulator video or any other video that i publish goodbye